What's going on, everyone? Welcome to the fan club. It's your boy, D. Braz, Dan Brosnan in the building. Switched our set around a little bit. I still have the awesome Power Rangers set, but I'm working behind this computer today, so you guys get this little setup. The old OG fan club sign that we've been rocking since day one when we had zero followers. Now we have 20,000 on Facebook. Back when we had zero subscribers and now we're getting close to 4,000. So help a bro out. Hit that like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, stay in the algorithm. But let's get into this episode, baby. Today we're going to be talking about an, a good classic. Big Bad Beetle Bugs. Beetle Bugs. Loved that show back in the day, man. Beetleborgs was my jam. For real, though. It was it was fun. It was like a, a, a kid version of Power Rangers. Like a bunch of kids get, get Ranger powers, basically, except they're Beetles. And, and they fight crime. Super fun. Um, I, I, I love it. I, I loved that show as a kid. I watched it because that's leaving Netflix 2 tomorrow. Or like on the first basically and it's sad because that show was fun it was like dark but yet hilarious at the same time now um the sentai was more like super dark like some of them died it was it was a crazy type of sentai but honestly it was so fun. I I watched some of the scenes. I watched the one like Metallics one where the dude dies. <laughs> it's crazy. I love it though. Um, I th honestly think Beetleborg is not a bad show. And this is one of the few shows that could make it today. Because there's action and there's a lot of comedy. So why do I have you here? We're going to be talking about the last episode. Okay. The last episode of Beetleborgs had me scratching my head. I was watching it yesterday, and honestly, it kind of sucked, bro. Now, not that the episode itself was awful. It had some super cool, like, it had this giant monster in the end, and it had the, the characters, or, um, what do you call them? Frankenbeans, you know, like our, our monster friends. They they had a fun part in this. Frankenbeans is something in his head. They're trying to get it out and he's in pain. And the Beetleborgs come together and defeat this giant looking monster. But that's it. They like it like it ended. There was no real closure. You could it was one of those shows that you could tell it might have been the last episode, but they didn't know for sure. So they kind of left it open. But after reading, they knew it wasn't going to be a show because they ran out of Sentai footage. They ran out of uh, Joku B-Ray or Fighter. Joku B-Fighter, is that what it's called? They, they ran out of all that footage. So they couldn't do anything no more. So they knew that this was the final episode. But yet they didn't write anything at the end about it. I... Thought it was so weird. It ended basically like there was going to be another episode. Like there were some minor things that showed that, you know, this could be the final episode. Great example, like at the end, it was all out craziness in the city. People are evacuating and everyone's running. It definitely had a season finale feel to it, but it didn't have a series finale feel to it, especially with no closure in the end. It was just snap your fingers and it's over and like flabber was always like the man with something cool to say at the end i thought you would have given him some cool lines like take the beetle binders back but no the villains are still there that's what drives me nuts is so i'm i'm just so confused with this because i know that the 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 beetleborg show in japan was super violent and dark and didn't they have an ending? Didn't they have an ending here? Was it too violent? What was it? Um, did they think they were going to get another season? Did they think they were going to make some more Sentai in Japan for them? I would love to hear the inside knowledge. Someday I will interview a Beetleborg cast member. 
I swear I will. And we're going to find out the truth on all of this. It's just nuts, man. Beetleborgs, super fun show. I loved it. It's one of the few shows that I think could actually do something today in today's market because it's got superheroes and a lot of comedy. You know, it's got like Batman and SpongeBob in one, you know, so that would be fun. I would love to see a Beetleborgs remake. But what did you guys think about the series finale of Beetleborgs Metallics? Okay, it was a cool episode, but why? Why didn't we get any type of closure? You knew it was going to end. I just want to know, baby. Let me know if you know anything about this. Let's talk about it. I love you guys. Thanks for watching the fan club. And we'll see you next time. Peace. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you hit that like button. Hit that subscription button. And also hit that notification bell to stay in the algorithm. Do you guys support the fan club? You want to help us make our next episode and keep this show running? Well, check out our brand new fan club t-shirts. These are on our Square site. Go check that out. Go check us out on all social media platforms. And thank you for rocking with us, guys.